Uh, hi guys, so I'm going to read Detective Comics number 40. So this is the first appearance of, the, of Clayface, but this version of Clayface is different because he's a serial... He's not. He doesn't transform or anything. He's a serial killer. So, yeah, he, yeah, so he's more like Mr. Zaz or something like that, but... Anyway, he, so he's on the cover in this issue. It's Batman Robin fighting him. I think it's Clayface anyway. Um... But yeah, he looks a lot different than what you would think he looks like. Like he like he can't shape shift or anything. So Batman or his real name's still Basil Carlo though. That's his, his he's still an actor, Basil Carlo. So Batman with Robin the Boy Wonder. Again the mighty Batman and that young laughing Robin Hood of today, Robin the Boy Wonder, plunge deep into baffling mystery. Again they fight a master of crime, a master of murder. A black cloaked hideous figure that menaces their very lives as he leaves behind a trail of corpses. Um, Bruce Wayne speaks to young Dick Grayson, who is the only living person to know him as Batman. Yep, Julie is now a motion picture actress. I'm going over to the studio to meet her. So is your fiancé acting in that new horror picture they're making over at Argus? So yeah, there's some references here. I think Argus was in um, Batman Arkham Knight. The Arg I think, or some, or no, no, that was Panner or something Studios. No, yeah, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Julie Madison is um, Batman's girlfriend from the 30s. This is, I think she makes a few more, like one more appearance and then she kind of disappears. But the studio of the Argus Motion Picture Company. And this is Bruce, this Bruce is Mr. Bentley, head of Argus Pictures. How do you do? Mr. Wayne, it, if Julie keeps up her, um, and work, her acting, it says Ain work, okay, acting, I guess, work, she'll be a star in no time. Mr. Kenneth Dodd is the new star of the picture Dread Castle. He plays the terror years ago. In old, uh, the old version, um, this role was played by the greatest character and makeup artist, Basil Carlo. Uh, did someone speak my name? Hello, Miss Bentley. Basil Carlo. Just dropped in to wish the successor uh, to my role. Good luck. Todd, I hope only hope you are as smart as I was foolish. Lots of luck to you. Thank you, Carlo. I guess I'll never be as good as a character actor as you were. When Carlo leaves... What did Carlo mean by that smart, kid, smart and foolish crack? Oh, you remember how after he became a big star, he got into scrapes and did a lot of crazy things. He got a lot of bad publicity because of it. After the papers got through with him, the people wouldn't go to see his pictures, even if they gave away prizes. Uh, at, that, at that moment, look here, um... And I can't read that, or Bentley, oh, Bentley. What is the idea of stopping my directing of Dread Castle? Ned Norton, so you finally showed up. You go out and disappear for days, and you want to know why. First prove that you can be relied on, and then perhaps I'll give you work. So I'm fired, eh? I won't forget this, Bentley. I won't forget this. Remember, you'll never finish this picture without me. Bentley shows Bruce about the studio, and there in the back is the set of Dread Castle. For this picture, I had a real castle built with a moat around it. No expense was spared. Suddenly, the sound of angry voices reaches them. Oh, oh, a tiff. We're walking through, Fred Walker, through, and that's final. You, can, you can't walk out on me now. What about our love? Uh, that's Lorna Dane, my star. She's getting rid of her sweetheart, Fred Walker, just like she's rid herself of all her other sweethearts, the gold digger. <laughs> okay. okay. And none t too gently either. Our love? Ha ha, don't make me laugh. Listen, Fred, you haven't had a ro oh, you haven't had a role in months. I can't afford to let myself be tied to an actor that's slipping. You vixen, I ought to kill you. You don't deserve to live. Laugh at me, will you? When I get through with you, you won't laugh again, ever. So yeah, I already kind of spoiled, I spoiled who Clayface is, but I mean, 
It's like an 80 year old comic. So, so sorry about, but anyway, later. Well, Mr. Bentley, it's been very enjoyable, but it's growing late. All right, take Julie home, but be careful. She's a valuable property, not only to me, but to you, eh? Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, it's 1930s, right? So, or 40s, early 40s. Uh, as they leave a Sir Saturn, I can't read that word, looking man, approaches Henry. Hiya, Ben Bentley decided to accept my offer yet? Roxy Brenner. Off, you gangster. Off the lot. I refuse to pay you protection money. Now get off before I call the police. Okay, Bentley, it's your funeral. But don't blame me if anything happens to any of your stars. Nobody talks to Roxy Brenner like this. When I get through with you, you'll learn to keep your mouth shut. See you soon, Bentley. Later, the Wayne home. Something is going to happen out of that studio. There seems to be an aura of hate pervading uh, the very atmosphere of the place. Yes, sir. Something is going to happen, and soon. A few days later, Bruce visits Julie at the, on the set of Dread Castle. Well, this is what I call a big, with, with capital letters. When Argus makes a picture, it's always big. They're going to shoot the scene now. This is where the terror is supposed to kill the Countess. The cameras grind and the murder scene of Dread Castle begins. Actually, what this reminds me, it's kind of like a slasher movie, or this comic. It's kind of like a slasher. It's kind of cool. Maybe, like, if they updated Clayface, they could make him, like, a slasher villain-type enemy for Batman. Instead of, like, a shapeshift, where they could do both. But Ah, the terror. Prepare to die, Countess. But from the darkened corner of this set, a hideous face watches with baleful eyes. So this is what Clayface looked like in back in the forties. Um, yeah, so he actually he's pretty like he's really scary looking. Fools they play at murder, not realizing that I do not pretend, but in reality bring death. Can the set can on the set the players continue their acting, unaware of the grin and gruesome figure uh watching now du now Com countess die at that moment a hairy hand reaches for the light switch now lorna dane die suddenly darkness agon an agonizing shriek the lights who stop the cameras ah who screamed someone get to the light switch a moment later, a man switches on the lights. They're on the floor. Someone switched off the lights and they stabbed her. Upon a safe distance, a ghastly figure grins diabolically. The scene is finished. For death is, is, is the director. Though police investigate at the end of a week, they are first forced to report Lorna Dane murdered by person or persons unknown. Soon a worried Julie visits Bruce. And now the studio is going ahead with the picture, and in the next scene I'm supposed to be killed by the terror. I'm afraid I'm supposed. Uh, don't worry, dear. The murderer won't try for you. That He just wanted to kill Lorna. As Julie leaves, I'm worried myself. Suppose Julie is right. Dick, put on your outfit. We're going out. Uh, the moment later, Batman, the Dark Knight, and Robin, the Boy Wonder. All set. Let's go. The gates of Argus pictures. It says no admittance, but that doesn't mean us, Robin. Inside the studio. Better pay up, Bentley. You said something would happen to my stars. You, you gangsters, did you kill Lorna Dane? Maybe. But better pay up the protection money or else you won't have any doubts. Suddenly hurtling through the air, Batman and Robin, the boy wonder. What? I'm being attacked by an elf. If you're looking for trouble, Bentley, why, say, I think you're the one looking for trouble. Um, as like a back Black Panther, Batman uh, launches a deadly attack. The stars aren't out tonight, but they will be. And the gentleman get a, gets a cigar. Bong. Nice going, kid. The courageous pair quickly rout the gangsters. You guys never could fight without a gun. Tiss, tiss, you might as 
uh, cut yourself playing with knives. The Batman, he's poison. I'm getting out of here. Not leaving our nice little party so soon, are you, Roxy? Uh, help. Now talk. Talk fast. Did you kill Lorna Dane? No, I swear. I tried to cash in on the murder. Figuring Br uh, Bentley would pay up the protection money faster. But I didn't kill her, I swear. All right, rat. Get going. Next time, don't come into the studio without an invitation. What a man. Think I'll offer him a contract. Batman questions Bentley. I'm going to clean up your mystery for you. Now that Roxy Brenner is out, who else would want to kill Lorna Dane? Fred Walker, her old sweetheart, or perhaps Ned, or, uh, Ned Horton, did it so he could get even with me and stop the picture. Robin, you stay here and keep your eyes open. I'm going to pay a visit to Fred Walker, Lorna Dane's jilted sweetheart. Right. Later, Batman clears the fence surrounding Walker's home. A pass key is used, and the door slowly opens. Hmm, nobody home. The Batman searches fruitlessly through the house. Then, in a final closet, Good heavens, what's this? Hanging from a hook in the closet is Fred Walker. H help me! Walker, what is it? What happened? Walker, can you hear me? Who did this to you? Clayface, Clayface, he, uh, dead. Clayface, he said. Who is Clayface? Not Roxy Brenner, certainly not this dead man. Can it be Ned, uh, Ned Norton, the director? Or perhaps Ken Todd? Meanwhile, what of Robin who walks in the deserted studio grounds? Uh, suddenly he spies a uh, light on Dread Castle. Light. It seems like uh, I'm not the only one out tonight. Think I'll investigate. But from high above, the boy is spied. The mysterious Clayface. Hmm, someone is inquisitive, but not for long. Ah, ah, ah. As Robin enters the gloomy castle. Gosh, what a spot for a murder. Unaware of the lurking terror at the top, Robin ascends the long, winding staircase to the last tower. Looks like my guest is walking his last mile. Clayface leaps. Hey! But the agile Robin's uh, ducks and the murderous Clayface goes hurtling over his shoulder. I need no knife. I can kill you with my bare hands. Well, I'm in a spot. As Robin steps back to avoid a clutching hand, he trips on the falling lamp. Crack. I'll drag this fool boy wonder to the parapet and throw his body into the waters of the moat below. Ha, that's the end of you, my prying young friend. But at that moment, the Batman, who has returned, sees the falling bo body. That looks... That is Robin! The Batman uh, cleaves the water just as the body sinks. A few moments later... Are you all right, kid? I, I guess so. Wow. What hit me? Oh, now I remember. The monster up in the tower... Once more in the tower, but Clayface gone. He's gone. I wonder what he was up doing up here anyway. Probably surveying the scene for his next murder. Clayface, I wonder if... Next morning in a dimly, dimly lit room, a man applies a grotesque makeup. Clayface. Once more I don the garments of death. This morning Miss Julie begins her murder scene in Dread Castle. Perhaps it shall be, uh, prove prophetic. Ha, prophetic. At the set of um, Dread Castle, the camera's um, greed w while Julie, I can barely read, is unaware of the, on, I guess, oncoming danger. Ah, the terror. Die. But up in the darkness, a catwalk, a ghastly figure raises his knife. For the throw, Clayface. Die, Julie. Uh, but suddenly a rope encircles the murderer's wrist. May I cut in? Then with the speed of thought, a, nasty, a hasty tackle, or a mighty tackle, Batman. Look on the catwalk, the Batman. Focus the cameras. The shots will be knockouts. Clayface, fighting with the strength of a madman, suddenly unleashes a ter terrific blow. Fool, no one shall take me alive. The maniac leaps for a dangling, dangling rope. That rope. 
but Clayface is reckoned without Rob and the boy wonder. Here's where I get even with that guy. I bet you're surprised. There's something I owe you. Um, a rope suddenly hisses through the air and jerks Clayface off his feet. The Batman has won the last trick. Clayface, from now on your name is Mud. A few moments later, now I'm going to show you the murderer of Lorna Dane and Fred Walker. That makeup. I once saw it on one of my, m one of my pictures. Clayface, it was played by... The Batman proceeds to remove the ghastly makeup from the horrible Clayface, whose real face belongs to... It's Basil Carlo! Right, you see, he hated you for using Todd in a remake of one of his old starring pictures. He wanted to stop the picture. But why did he kill Lorna Dane and then try for me? Why didn't he kill Todd first? He had played so many horror roles in pictures that they had p taken possession of his mind and soul. He made up as Clayface one of his own roles, and then followed the plot of the dreaded castle, and then killed off each one as they died in the picture. In the last reel, Todd as the terror was supposed to die. That's when he intended to kill him in the, in the way Basil Carlo would again be the real terror. Once more he would star. Fantastic, was it? Why did he kill Walker? He recognized uh, me in my clay face disguise when I got Lorna. He wanted to blackmail me, so I killed him. As for you, Batman, I'll get you yet. Sensational. You two are both sensational. I've got you both in fight pictures. Stay with me and you have a career in the movies. Sorry, our careers are in, is in our constant battle against crime and evil. That are what I call a real pair of here, a pair of real heroes, and I don't mean real. Ho ho! If only Bruce was so dashing. One of America's most outstanding adventure strips, the Amazing Batman. This is a sensational lead. Robin the Boy Wonder will again th uh, thrill you next month's Detective Comics with their daring exploits. Do not miss them. See, so yeah, that's the end of that issue. Um, See, so yeah, Clayface is very different. In his first appearance than what he's popularly known but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video if you could like comment or subscribe that would be appreciated um and i thank you and i'll see you guys later